Are you looking for a French toast recipe that is not only healthy, but extremely high in protein, and most importantly, tastes amazing? In this video, we are gonna be going over one of my favorite breakfast recipes, healthy French toast. And before we get into it today, if you are looking for more awesome ways to simplify the process of becoming the healthiest and happiest version of you, make sure you tap that subscribe button and hit that bell. We're putting out new videos every week geared to get you in the best shape of your life. With that being said, let's get into it. What's up everybody, Skyler Dean here, founder of Reach Fat Loss and Fitness, where our goal is to help you get in the best shape of your life, lose fat, build muscle, do it all without the sucky dieting, so eating amazing, amazing food, do it without tracking numbers, counting calories, weighing your food, and most importantly, without any torturous cardio. And one of my favorite and most important aspects of the way I live with my fat loss and my fitness is I make sure I'm consistently eating delicious food. I don't wanna eat the bland chicken, I don't wanna eat the brown rice and the broccoli and the things that I don't enjoy. And while of course there's some leeway, sometimes I eat the broccoli, sometimes I eat things that I don't absolutely love, I would say about 90% or more of the meals I eat are absolutely incredible. And so today we are going over one of my favorite, which is my anabolic French toast recipe. And I say anabolic because it is extremely high in protein and when a lot of people think of French toast, they think of very unhealthy. This version has completely clean ingredients, it is extremely, extremely high in protein, and most importantly, it tastes freaking amazing. So. All you're gonna need for this, we got a couple different materials here. Number one, and most important, is we do need eggs. Pasteurized eggs, don't go with any of the Eggland's best or the stuff that is just extremely fragile and low in nutrients. Make sure you're getting your eggs pasteurized so that chickens are fed their natural diet. You're gonna have much higher levels of omega-3. The second ingredient is going to be Sun Warrior Protein. Now you can use any blend here, but this has been my absolute favorite. It's Sun Warrior Maple French Toast flavor, so it's literally perfect. And most importantly, what I care about is there's no artificial ingredients, artificial sweeteners. This is one of the healthiest proteins I've ever seen, and also one of the most cost-effective proteins I've seen. So if you want to grab this, I'll put the link in the description. You can also use code SKYFIT, that'll save you 10%. But again, if you just want to use a chocolate protein powder or anything else, you can. Just be wary if you're looking for the best taste and most like French toast, you want to go with this flavor here. And then finally, of course, the bread. So when we're doing French toast, I will say, if you just want to make pancakes without the bread, I sometimes do that. I add the eggs, I add the protein, and then I add a little bit of baking powder just to get that fluff. But today we're going to be going French toast, so the only bread option here is Ezekiel bread. It's completely organic, completely sprouted ingredients, so you're actually able to use the nutrients. You're avoiding the enriched flour, you're avoiding all the ingredients that are going to spike your blood sugar, stimulate your appetite, leave you feeling bloated. This is the best of the best. And so something to note is that it is still bread, so we're only going to do two slices today, and that's going to be my bread for the day. And so if you're going for like healthy, healthy, you don't even need to use this. You can just make pancakes out of the batter we're going to create. Otherwise, if you're looking for French toast, obviously make sure you're choosing a bread that's actually healthy. The rest of the ingredients here are all going to be things that you can top with. If you're making pancakes, so I got wild blueberries here. Sometimes I'll put that in the batter, but since it's French toast, I'm most likely be topping with this. I use 100% cacao chips from Trader Joe's. I use hemp parts for a little extra protein, a little more bioavailable nutrients, and then of course a real organic maple syrup. None of the artificial junk that's just added sugar. And then finally, we use a little bit of butter in the pan. So we're going to make this super, super simple. You can Honestly, just mix the ingredients handheld in a bowl, but if you want that really smooth, really helpful texture and you're not getting any chunks of protein, I'd really recommend blending. So the process we're gonna do here is very, very simple. You can start with two eggs. I'm gonna use three eggs just for getting in even more protein. Once you've got your eggs, you can blend that up a little bit. First, if you'd like, I'm just gonna add the protein straight away. So there's really no right amount, especially because a lot of eggs are gonna be different sizes. I start with one full scoop, and then based on the consistency, I typically add in like half a scoop or more. So we're gonna mix that, and then we're going to blend it. Okay, once we've got that batter ready, we're gonna take a bowl, a flatter bowl, so that the bread isn't gonna go in there. We're gonna pour the batter in. If you look, that's a nice consistency. It's not too runny, it's not falling all, out all at once, but it's loose enough to be able to pour out of the actual blender. Scrape. Then we have our batter. While I'm dipping the bread, I am gonna turn on the pan and I'm gonna put in a little bit of butter. You don't wanna use too much here. You don't want the butter to overrun the French toast flavor. So I'm just using a small chunk, something just to coat the bottom so that it doesn't stick. And then while that's melting, you can dip your bread. Now the most important part here, I keep mine frozen. You don't need to defrost them before they come in. From what I've noticed, it hasn't changed the taste at all. But all you care about as you're dipping this in is you want this completely covered. So you don't want the bread to have any open spots. You want it completely covered by the actual batter. If it's a little thicker, you can even scoop some and just 
put it on top. I always like to soak it in there a little bit so the bread actually seeps it up. So you can leave it in there for a good 20 to 60 seconds. Again, just making sure that butter's gonna melt. Okay, and then when you feel ready, you just take that slice of bread, put it on the pan, and same exact thing. Again, making sure that it is covered. All right, that last bad boy's covered, so we're gonna put that in there. And then I just like to use the extra batter, so I'll typically just scrape it out onto the top of the toast. And then we wait. So as this is cooking, whether you're new to the channel or you've been here for a while, my favorite fat loss strategy that allows you to consume delicious foods like this is really number one, prioritizing protein, but number two, focusing on ingredients. And this is so, so, so important because I could make the same French toast, but I could use a bread that has an enriched flour. I could put in a protein powder that has an artificial sweetener. And when you combine ingredients like that, the way your body responds is gonna make it harder to lose weight, most importantly, but also keep it off in the long term. So something like an artificial sweetener is gonna stimulate your appetite, it's gonna force you to crave other things, and it's also gonna shift your taste buds to wanna crave more artificial things. And along with something like an enriched flour that you get in a processed bread is going to spike your blood sugar, which is gonna cause an energy crash, which is gonna cause more hunger, more cravings, it's gonna slow your metabolism. So big picture, it's gonna make it a lot more difficult to stay in a calorie deficit. So if you're working on losing fat, the beauty of this is that it's all real food. It's all food that existed 50 plus years ago. It's not man-made ingredients, it's not food that's been shifted, so it interacts with your body in a completely different way, in a much better way. And so if you are interested in our fat loss strategy, you're interested in learning a little bit more about what we do and why it's so much more simple and honestly so much more easy than other fat loss strategies, check the free training in the description of this video. It lays out exactly what we do and why we do it. Through strategies like this, I've had clients who have felt that they were addicted to certain foods, candies, chips, things that are either sweet or salty. And within like two weeks of working together and just changing their nutrition a little bit, changing the ingredients, they find that physically they don't even like the taste of those artificial things anymore. And so it's the beauty of this is you're not just fighting your willpower of I shouldn't have candy or I shouldn't have a piece of cake or I shouldn't have something like French toast and then trying to grit it out, but you're allowing yourself to eat these delicious foods while also allowing your body to shift to not even want the artificial stuff. That's why I believe it's so helpful. So again, free training if you wanna learn our strategy, and then we're putting out content every week, so if you're not subscribed, make sure you subscribe to the channel. With that being said, it looks like the French toast is about ready, so you really won't be able to tell from the top. You might start getting a few small bubbles, but you can just kind of feel into it, and you'll notice when the bottom is starting to cook. So this looks good to me. I'm gonna flip it. Oh, that is absolutely perfect. My flip was a little horrendous though. And if you see here, we've got a well-cooked top of the French toast, and then we're just gonna give it a few minutes to cook on the bottom. All right, it looks like the French toast is done. So I am going to put this on the plate. And look how beautiful that is. It's fluffy. I could probably cook it a little more, but I like sometimes when there's a little bit of batter in there. And you can just tell by looking at the inside. And then the beautiful part here is you can just top it with whatever you like. So like I said, I'll throw some blueberries. I'll throw some cacao chips. The cool part about the cacao chips too is because it's so warm, they'll melt. So you get like a nice little chocolatey glaze. And you're not getting all that added sugar. I'll get some hemp hearts to add that protein. And then of course, the most important part is the real maple syrup. Now of course, if you're adding tablespoons and tablespoons and tablespoons to this stuff, it can turn it from something that's nutritious and high in protein to a sugar bomb. So you do want to be conscious here. You don't have to like only put a drizzle, but you don't want to be putting globs and globs of syrup on there. And with that, that is my breakfast. And then you enjoy. And it really as simple as that. I've been able to eat this multiple times a week for breakfast and stay lean, still maintain lower body fat percentage. And I really believe it is because of the ingredient quality, because of the emphasis on protein, and obviously because of what I do with my other meals as well. So, it's so good. I've got more awesome recipes coming your way. I've got more awesome ways for you to lose fat and build muscle coming your way. So if you're not subscribed to the channel, make sure you subscribe. If you're looking for fat loss help, check the link in the description that lays out our system, exactly why it's so effective. And of course, as always, make sure to eat smart, move more, sleep deep, and be grateful for this moment. I'm gonna go enjoy this, and I'll see you next time.